Spring is officially here, so you might think it's time to head outside and work on the garden. Also in the backyard, right? There is plenty to do and plenty of new options to help make that work a lot easier. So joining us right now, gardening an outdoor expert, Jim Carlton. Hey, thanks for being here. Talk about what we should be doing. I we have some cold weather here in Cincinnati right now, but you know what? In the tri-state, we have those swings in temperature. So what do we do? Oh, the, the temperature, you, you, you don't do anything right now. <laughs> it's far too cold, but you can start planning your garden for the spring and summer months. And what would you advise? When do we plant trees or, or hardier things like that? Well, I, I think, you know, that it, it's really going to depend. Um, you, you can't really start until the temperatures reach the, you know, probably the 50s or maybe even low 60s on a consistent basis. OK, for people that want when we get to that point, weather wise, mm -hmm. if you want a specific color in your yard or you want a specific hardy tree or whatever, you really do have to plan kind of overall for your garden or backyard. Right. You you want to you want to you know, the, the key is to plan out what you're going to do, but you don't do it all at once, right? You start off small, you start with a couple planter beds and you sort of um, grow the garden organically <laughs> as opposed to, you know, go out and in one weekend, try and get everything done. It, it really pays off to, uh, to plan your garden ahead of time. All right. So talk about, and we kind of tease this, but the tools that make gardening easier, what do you have? Well, we've got two tools that uh, are taking away something that people hate. That's weeding. Um, we've got uh, the turtle robot, which is T-E-R-T-I-L-L. -L, and that's a robot which cruises your garden um, and, uh, and your landscaped areas as opposed to your lawn. And it's solar powered. It's a small robot and it does the weeding in that area. And then we've got a uh, Weeding robot for your lawn. It's actually the world's first weeding robot for your lawn. It's by Dandy Technology. And uh, it travels a lawn on a predetermined route, spraying weeds with a small amount of herbicide. Um, even You can even use an all organic herbicide, uh, making it really safe for you, your family, and even your pets. All right, so where do we go for more information on those trends that you're just talking about right now? Yeah, they want to go to dandytechnology.com. That's D-A-N-D-Y technology.com. All right. And what, what do you think is going to be the hit plant or the hit color <laughs> of a spring garden? Uh, it, the colors this year are, are unconventional blues, yeah. uh, robin's egg blue, teal and lavender. The pinks are big, uh, fiery magenta to pastel pink. And you even get some outliers in uh, blood orange and green uh, this year. As far as plants go in, in the Cincinnati and tri-state area, um, the hydrangeas are really big. Yeah. Um, you've, you've got an opportunity to use uh, an enormous range of color through, through them. Uh, butterfly weed is actually really popular and Black Eyed Susan. Love that. Hey, thank you so much for those tips. We're going to put a lot more of this yeah. information on our website at fox19now.com. Well, still ahead, Xavier is moving ahead in the NCAA tournament.